On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, with viewers and subscribers, what a one. A blessed and wonderful Tuesday morning to each and every person out there tuning in to On The Spot News Media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So, in the morning, my peeps, I have a few stories to share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So, please, like the video. Share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in a Jamaica. So watch this now my peeps who are going to kick it off with some murder statistics as the numbers continues to climb. Now the regular members of Chan Public is now accusing members of the JCF hierarchy of covering up the real numbers. But the JCF is stating that the numbers that they have put out is true to the best of their knowledge. So right now, the murder stats for 2024 stands at. But before we get into that, make we look into this. Jamaica's knockings and clappings rate as it relates to the knockings and clappings committed by criminal elements has decreased by 17% as of August 15th of this year compared to the similar period of last year. Both preliminary statistics show that three of the 19 police divisions have recorded increases in fatal knockings and clappings by more than 30% over the same period. The 17% decrease in fatalities as of August 15th represents 149 fewer people losing their lives in 2024 when compared to the corresponding period of 2023. Now that's 878 fatalities in 2023 this time compared to 729 fatalities compared to this time this year 2024. The St. James Police Division has seen the largest percentage decrease, falling by more than 35%. So that's 44 fewer people losing them three pints compared to the similar period of 2023. Similarly, the Hanover and St. Anne Police Divisions both show a decrease in their fatalities in excess of 30%. With the exception of five, all other police divisions recorded declines in fatalities between 7 and 29%. However, of the five divisions where increases were reported, the St. Andrews Central Police Division saw the highest percentage increase of 58% moving from 31 fatalities from the similar period in 2023 to 49 in 2024. And that's 18 more people end up losing them three pints for the reviewed period. This is followed by the St. Elizabeth Police Division, the St. Andrew North Police Division, the Trelawney Police Division and the Manchester Police Division, which show an increase in fatalities ranging from 33 to 15 percent yeah man now we could look into some knockings and clappings of guan over the period of last night from 6 p.m to 6 a.m this morning now over there in the clarendon parish a section of clarendon known as lionel town in the salt river main road the body of an unidentified male was found laying on the roadway, lifeless, no longer among the land of the living. The Lionel Town Police is presently investigating. 
Another fatality took place. A man identified as Marvin Marsh, 28 years old, said to be from a Second Avenue address in Gregor Park, St. Catherine. He was found lifeless in an unfinished building. The police in that era, the Caymanas police, is presently investigating. Now over there in the Kingston Western Police Division, a fatal knockings and clappings go on and also the serious injury of two females, one a 32-year-old female and a 29-year-old female. Both victims get can up right at Tuari Crescent, right there, so a Rosetown and Spanish Town Road. Yeah, man. Now, that is an ongoing gang war that I will most definitely be talking about a little bit from this. And still in the Kingston Western Police Division, the body of an unidentified male was seen lifeless on the roadway, well can up all over the upper body and head. It is said that his life was taken by unknown assailants who made good their escape on foot along Lincoln Avenue in the Kingston Western Police Division. The Admiral Town Police is presently investigating. And also over there in the Kingston Central Police Division, right at West Street and Tower Street, this man presently on your screen identified as Kirk Francis. 54 years old, said to be of 11 Whitney Drive in Kingston 20, was conned up by criminal elements along the roadway in the full presence and view of his daughter. How traumatizing can that be? The city center police is presently investigating. The next knockings and clappings took place over there in Gale, St. Mary, a place known as Decoy District, where an unidentified male was scanned up and seriously injured. He's presently in the hospital. The Gale police is investigating. And the last knockings and clappings go on in the St. Andrew North Police Division, where we have seen an uptick of crime and violence in the Stony Hill, Iron River, and surrounding communities. Over the past couple of weeks, a whole heap of knockings and clappings are going up in them parts there. Now, an unidentified male was conned up and seriously injured by unknown assailants in the Iron River community. The Stony Hill police is presently investigating. Now, no see how much different knockings and clappings go on at night time whilst some of us are in our beds sleeping. I don't see how much people out there in weeping and mourning to the loss or serious injuries of their loved ones. And with that said, I'm going to post some pictures presently for you on your screen. I want to look upon the ground and see the type of weapons, weapons of mass destruction that these criminal elements presently have in their arsenal. These criminal elements are very much armed with high-powered weapons that can definitely take a life or cause serious damages to us, the regular members of Chan Public. I can't seem to understand why we seem to hide these criminal elements and treat them as if they're modern-day heroes. Now, these weapons of mass destruction belongs to a set of criminal elements along Maxfield Avenue known as Bentley Lane. Them call themselves side Badness. <laughs> yeah, man. Now, the Kingston Western Police have listed nine criminal elements that is from Bentley Lane are in and around that circle who is presently wanted by them in relation to the ongoing gang violence we see a guan between bentley lane and rosestone and all roads leading off going down maxfield avenue along to spanish town road 
Now these criminal elements have been listed before, but I am going to list them again. And on your screen, you can clearly see these criminal elements taking photographs, posing with their heavy artillery, sending a message to their criminal rivals and also to intimidate the likes of you, the regular members of Jan Public. So these criminal elements are as follows. Samuel Grant, but more popularly known in the criminal underworld as Hobby. Navardo Lyons, otherwise known as Guambad, he's presently on your screen. This criminal element here is one of the top tier Nakis and Clappis that is totally responsible for everything on a Siaguan. In fact, the picture presently on your screen was posted by his relative. The next criminal element, identified as Rohan Tomlinson, also known as Popsy. The next criminal element, identified as Chavesio Magishi, otherwise known as Will. The next criminal element, identified as David Simmons, but he's more popularly known in the streets as Troy. The police are also searching for Karen Campbell, otherwise known as Wicked, Clive Wallace, otherwise known as AJ Vickers, and a man known as Bugari. SSP Phipps, the man in charge of the Denham Town Police Station, and overall in charge of the Kingston Western Police Division, is urging members of the public to assist the police in finding these criminal elements. Yeah, man. Now, still under Cherry Tree Lane, over there in Four Parts, Clarendon, Mass, Fatal, Knackings and Clappings, I have made mention of this criminal element here presently on your screen in several vlogs I covered about that mass murder. He has since been identified as Ras McConan, Copeland, but more popularly known in the streets as Tuffy. Now, this criminal element is different from the criminal element that I spoke about yesterday, known as Tuffy Lee. This criminal element is also presently behind bars and is one of the warring factions with his one time friend, known as Black Azan. Now we have for you an updated photograph of this criminal element. He's no longer a ballad. He's no a dread. Yeah, man. So this is the updated photograph of Ras McConan Copeland, a.k.a. Tuffy. One of the reputed criminal elements. The man who get the contracts for Slapway. The eight people round a cherry tree lane in four parts Clarendon. So he was the one that was contacted via cell phone in the prison by the criminal element identified as Beanie. Beanie lost his sister Joanna and in retaliation contacted this criminal element here to carry out reprisal knockings and clappings on the criminal elements affiliated with Black Azan. So basically, my peeps, I said this already, I'm going to say this again. The entire parish of Clarendon is being held hostage by three criminal elements who is presently behind bars, namely White Knight, namely Tuffy, and last but most definitely not the least, Black Azan, because the war we Uno see a fight right now is none of them war. The man them will live a foreign in a fit them war and contract them for carry out dirt on each other's side, and that is how they became enemies because they were all friends whilst incarcerated in prison. 
So this whole thing we wanna see go on in my peeps. I said this already, I'm gonna say it again. It is way, way bigger than what meets the eyes. And a lot of politicians now go come out and say certain things. A lot of DJs and you know, a popular DJs now go come out and say certain things. A lot of influential persons in society where uno look up to now go come out and say certain things because certain names are involved in what is happening. And if they utter a word out of their mouth, the whole of them business probably gone a road because they are all connected to that controversial figure. He does a lot of under the table business for them. And he also fund their politics and their political movement with his dirty money. So certain things will never ever be said certain persons will never come forward and say a word of English. Yeah, man. It is really sad. But to how deep this crime syndicate run and how many people are connected to it, trust me, you dare not trust not even your own because your own just may be on the pay bill of these criminal elements. Yeah, man. So anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscast. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.